How's it going everybody? This is Beat the Bush. We just went to Tuna Harbor Seaside Market over here in San Diego. We got a lot of good, fresh, live seafood. Here's a display of all the seafood we're going to be having today. Four sweet shrimp, one box crab, and two live unis. We got two sea urchin for $7 each. They're not the biggest, but they are alive. My hand for comparison. And this one, it looked like it leaked a little bit already, but you can see it's still alive because the little spikes are moving. This one. Yep, it's still moving. Also got four of these sweet shrimp prawns. Four of these cost about $18.50 or so. Hello? Yep, moving still. You can see they are pretty big, about the size of my palm in terms of length. And here we have the box crab. This guy, I forget how much was it? $18.50, $8 a pound. So it's a little bit over two pounds. I think it's still alive. Yeah, it's still alive. It looks gnarly. I'm gonna cook them in various ways over here. I'm gonna cut them open and we can eat some over here. I'll, I'll do one of them at a time. Opening them up a little different this time because they're so small. So I'm just going to break them apart in half. And this is the mouthpiece over here. I got a lot of people saying, oh, don't wash the uni. You're washing up all the deliciousness. Just kind of clean it up a bit. kind of removing all the stuff that's around it. We got two more pieces coming. Each uni has uh, five pieces. Okay, so you got one of them over here. I don't know, I still kind of want to wash them. Because uh, see, look, you got all these little black bits on here. You definitely don't want to eat that. Maybe I'll wash it inside the uni itself. Oh no, that's just more of it. It just looks more clean. I don't know, I just can't bring myself to eat the little dirt pieces. I've got the other one. I've just kind of chopped it a little bit. So now I'm going to try to pull it carefully apart. It's spiky. So I'm trying to grip it somewhere where it's not. Oh, there we go. Beautiful. This one's pretty good. I'm going to take a piece out just like that. Ooh, this one's great. There you go. And then you got one piece. And right, let's go wash it over there. Okay, we got one piece. So this is all the uni that's removed. This is all you get. Seven dollars, seven dollars. And you can see the sizing of it is quite different. This is a little bit bigger. The uni varies in size based on you know just nature really. So uh, this looks really good. I'm gonna try it one piece over here. I've had this before, it's like more plump and more seafood-like. It's very, very fresh. It's kind of like crab roe. It has this little um, gum flavor. Trying another piece over here. This is from the other uni. This one tastes a little bit better than the bigger one. A little bit sweeter. Yeah, I like this one better. Next up are these live shrimps. We're gonna cook two of them first. Each one of them have some roe, the eggs down below. These are really, really good. And I've got some boiling water over here. You actually only need to cook them for about two to three minutes or so. Just enough, you don't wanna overcook these. So, open this up, gonna stick them in. Yeah, make sure it doesn't like kick right after you put them in there. Three minutes later, these are done. I think, I think they're done. Here we 
there's a shrimp. So this is how you eat it. It's very simple. I just boiled it, no soup or anything. You just remove the head over here. And lots of juices come out and mm, yeah, you can start munching away at, ow, 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 it's really hot. But maybe you want to remove the head first. Ow, 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 ow. Yeah, that's really hot. So all that, it's edible right here. Mmm. And then you also have the eggs. This is like the best part. You can just go in there and, and eat them. Just like that. You eat all the eggs first before you remove the shell. Because if you remove the shell, it just get like it'll, the eggs will just get everywhere. Mm -hmm. Look at all these eggs in here. Delicious. Note that if you get the female ones, the body of the shrimp tends to be a little bit smaller because I guess they spend a lot of energy making their eggs. So I removed the shell and you can see this is a really, really big shrimp. Peel off the back in case it has any of the um, intestines or poo in it, right? You can just peel off the back and remove that little, little piece right in the middle. Divine it so you're not eating the shrimp poo. After that, you can just go to town. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, so fresh. You definitely don't want to cook it more than three minutes. But I wonder why it's called box crab. Doesn't look like a box. I guess you can see that little eyes in, right in the center. I have it set up for steaming. He's gonna go right in there. There he is. Well, in the steamer. Goes. Eight minutes. There it is, all cooked. I just steamed it in the Instapot for eight minutes and then fast released it. I think it's dead. And right when I released it, it was kind of like bigger and it just kind of deflated. You know, it was like a pie like this. I'll flip it over. Oh boy. This piece you can't eat. I'll try and cut a claw out. I'm just gonna try a little bit real quick. The bone is kind of breaking off pretty easily. So I'm gonna eat part of the leg over here. Mmm, it's so sweet. Mmm, very, very crabby flavor. I'm gonna open up the rest over here. The inside of the bone is a little bit softer, so you can just kind of cut it through. But it's very, very spiny, like lots of spiky stuff all over. I'll take some of that meat out here. You like crab meat? Oh yeah. I don't think it has the most crab meat of, you know, all the crabs, but very flavorful. Okay, let me break open up another um, leg over here, show you guys. Oh, there you go. It's hot and fresh, delicious. All in all, I think the uni is not as good as it could be. Although it's very fresh, it tastes kind of like sea water-like. It's very, very plump. I've gotten better at a Japanese supermarket before. The sweet shrimp is exactly as I thought it would taste. I've had it many times before and I usually buy it from Ranch 99. You just boil it very quickly for three minutes and it tastes awesome, especially with the eggs in it. The box crab meat is sweet, although it's not as plump as I want it to be. So the value here, it's a little bit low. If you guys are in San Diego, give this Seafood Harbor Marketplace a try. I'd say the prices are kind of average, except everything is like moving. Everything is live, so it makes it worth it. Don't forget to give me a like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.